so short. Huh, how do we fix this? Is this better? Oh yeah, hi. <sighs> Hello. My name is Emily. I am like sweaty. Ugh. I just took the dog on a walk. They just got home. It is like 95 degrees outside right now, but it is the air is so thick and humid. Like I'm going like this and like my body is literally sticking together. Oh. So anyway, put my tank top on. I got my pajama pants on and well, I don't even pants are like crop pants, like short pants. My hair is up. My makeup is melting off of my face, <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys what I got at the container store today. And hold on, we'll do this. Um, I got some happy mail that's planner related. I got this from Willow Fields. I'll put the link down below for you guys. Um, I actually bought stuff from Willow Fields like first, when I first got into planning, like a long time ago. And I saw some of these on her website. Actually, no, I saw some of these on her Instagram stories. And I followed her for a while. I just haven't purchased anything in like a really long time. But I just thought some of these were really cute and kind of pertain to what I was doing pretty soon. So I thought that these would be kind of fun. So without further ado, let me show you what I got. So I got these. It says organize office. How stinking cute are those? And she has a couple of different finishes like I think she has like glossy and, and the matte finish. And I chose the matte finish. I think the matte finish was a little bit cheaper, I think, I don't know. Um, and then this one says organized closet. Like how stinking cute is that? And then I got some of the like Willow Girls or Willow, I don't know. I thought these were cute. So these are like the little planner girls kind of cute. This is the Belinda planner babe. I don't know. And then this is the Belinda beauty, which I thought was cute for like, you know, makeup vanity and whatnot. And they're all different colors or not different colors, different sizes. Um, and then these are in more of a glossier finish, which yeah. And then I got this sheet. I don't know if this is the sampler or what, but it's like Little Mermaids. I did not order this one, so this just kind of came with my order. So I'm excited about those. And then I went to the container store. Dun da da da, contain myself. And I got a bunch of stuff for the office. So I'm gonna be doing a dedicated like office video at some point. It's gonna be a while, guys. Like I said in the last vlog, I've been feeling like a whole lot of overwhelm lately. So it's gonna be a little while. But I got this, it's like a little acrylic business card holder, which I thought was cute. You guys are currently sitting on an Amazon box. <laughs> and I'm not gonna show you what's in the Amazon box because it's part of a haul, an upcoming haul that's happening soon on my channel. And then I got some of these 3M command hooks. So these are like those little cord clips, which I thought would be really nice for like organizing cords and whatnot, obviously. Um, this is like smaller little decorating clips for wires and then I got kind of like a medium sized um, same like not decorating clips but oh mini hooks is what they're called and then <laughs> the rest of this is all the same it took me a really long time to find these um, I was looking for hanging file folders that were white and I found them on the containerstore.com. Um, I will link these specifically. Obviously, you can find the command things anywhere, to be completely honest. Um, you can get these at Target. I was just, I just bought them there because why not? And um, yeah, but I really wanted white hanging folders because I thought that would look really nice against my um, really dark desk that I have. Anyway, got quite a few of those, and that's all I got. It's not very exciting. Y'all, I am so warm right now. Oh, and the air conditioning's on in here and it felt really good when I walked back in, but oh, like my arms are like all red. Not because I'm burnt, just because I'm so hot. <laughs> ah, oh, one of you asked to see my tea kettle. So hold on, let me show you that. All right, so I've had 
the same brand of tea kettle for several years. This is my original one, let me show you. This is my original one that I had purchased, um, I think at Target several years back. It's by the company Bella, and you just put water in it, and then, you know, it boils your water. And you click it on, and then it like automatically stops when it's all done. So this one I'm actually gonna, I think, bring to my office at some point. I just haven't done it yet. Hold on, sorry, I had to clip that out because I had mail sitting there. Um, anyway, this is my current one that I'm using. I actually got this at Walmart. I know, total sacrilege, right guys? Um, but I got it at Walmart, and it was on clearance when I saw it at Walmart. I will leave an Amazon link down below for this exact one. I know I've seen it on Amazon, so if you're interested, I will put this exact one in the description box. I have seen at Target, they have like a Chevron one, which I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that. I like the little, what is this called? Like the quarter foil or something. Just, I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit more elegant than just like straight zigzags. I don't know, just not my thing. And I know I'm probably gonna get questions about this. I found this at Home Goods, and it has all of my little tea bags in there. And if you're interested, this is the tea I have every day. This is it, pretty boring. But yeah, so it's not one of those, I don't know, so, I don't know, there's like something with a bunch of words on it that's like all the rage. I don't know anything about that. So that's what I have for that. I also have this in a coffee too, which is over here, um, which I don't actually have any coffee in at all. But yeah, that's, that's the plan. Um, I did the dishes last night, so I had those kind of sitting out and getting all the moisture out during the day today. Um, and tonight is going to be a leftovers night, but the idea right now of actually eating something warm makes me wanna barf a little bit. So I think I'm gonna have just some water for right now and um, do a little bit of work. I have to do some stuff on the internet, hence my job. And um, I'm gonna open up my Amazon box without you guys, sorry. <laughs> um, but you will see an upcoming, it's like a home related haul. So um, you guys will see that in an upcoming video very, very soon. But let me show you the Doyle dog. Oh Doyle, what's wrong? <laughs> Someone else is really, really warm right now. So he is on the nice cold vinyl floor. Right buddy? Oh, so sad. All right, well, I am gonna cool off a little bit and do a little bit of work, and then I will check in with you guys in just a little while. Hey, hey, the lights are on. <laughs> I don't even think I said hello and welcome to Vulai Day 17, but welcome. Welcome, everyone. So I am now at home. Obviously, I have like a sweatshirt on now. I just like something covering my arms. I don't know why. This is like a pretty light, um, sweatshirt, if you will. I did not make dinner tonight because I just couldn't eat anything hot. I just, ugh, I just, I couldn't do it after the sweat fest outside. I still need to unload. Haven't done that yet either. But I've been kind of sitting at the computer I'm replying back to some of your comments and I'm getting some video situations kind of figured out for like upcoming filming. Um, I know I alluded to something that came in an Amazon box, which is going to be part of a larger haul that I'm going to show once everything arrives. <gasps> Somebody's calling me. It's my favorite mother. Hold on. Hello, mother. So the favorite mother just called and uh, she is getting her fridge. Apparently that's supposed to be delivered like tomorrow, but then now it's not, I don't know. So anyway, she had to stop at the uh, store and check it out. But anyway, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh, was I talking about the video that I'm trying to film maybe? I don't know. So, I mean, maybe I should just talk about this now. Um, I have been, Slowly, I mean not slowly because obviously I've been saving for like ever, but um, there were some, some things that I knew I wanted to upgrade and replace when I moved in here. So I'm gonna do a video dedicated to that. It's gonna be like a home homewares haul. It's gonna be 
basically kitchen stuff, I think. Um, there might be a couple of other little things in there, but I thought it would be kind of a, an interesting, you know, cool video to show, you know, kind of understand the method to my mayhem of why I pick certain things and, you know, why certain things weren't working for me anymore or why I wanted to upgrade something. Like, I'm, like I bought a toaster because I literally didn't have a toaster <laughs> and I'm like, you know, maybe I should get a freaking toaster. Um, yeah, so like, I don't know, there's a bunch of other things that um, I decided to get that I didn't have. So yeah, I mean, I've been going kind of without for a while. I mean, my, my parents had, you know, anything I really wanted, but uh, to be honest, I didn't really like ever make a lot of food there. I just didn't ever feel 100% comfortable. I mean, I know that's like crazy to say, but um, you know, it feels different when you get to cook on your own, you know, pots and pans and your own dishes and eat off your own silverware and stuff. Like, I just feel like I like cooking here a lot better. Well, obviously I like being here a lot better too because you know, it's like all mine and stuff. But anyway, so I have a really fun video coming up for you guys, but I actually just ordered um, something else this evening, which unfortunately, um, let me look at my order confirmation again. Um, one of the items is back ordered for a little while and it didn't say that when I originally ordered it But yeah, so one of them is Estimated delivery August 15. I don't know if I want to wait that long to actually film the video and it's only one little like One little item. So I think I might just film the video without that which is totally fine I mean it's it's kind of a larger mix of items that kind of go together. It's just one of the pieces. So it's not like it's gonna be like incredibly missed in the haul video, but I'll still, you know, eventually like link it for you guys. But but I've been just uh, working online. That's what I've been doing. Oh, and I finished Scandal tonight. Oh my God. So good. But yeah, Scandal was amazing. I finally finished it. I only had was it like, I think I had like an episode and a half left and that was it. I tried last night to finish and I was like upstairs trying to kind of go to bed, but I was like, oh, I want to watch some scandal. And I was like falling asleep because it was so late. I'm like, okay, I just need to like go to sleep. So I, I don't know, it was like 20 minutes into the episode and I was like, I have to just turn this off. There's just no way I can, I can't handle it. I can't handle the scandal. And I did get YouTube to work, by the way. Um, I don't know, it was like acting super funny. And even this morning, there was weird stuff going on on my channel and even someone commented that they had issues using, um, I think Chrome or something, watching some of my videos. So yeah, it was just, it was just kind of goofy. So I don't know what was going on with YouTube the last, you know, 24 hours essentially, but it looks like it's all fixed. I can respond back to comments, I can load videos. So yeah, that's, that's a good thing. Let's go see the Doyle dog because I feel like I've just been sitting and chatting. But you guys seem to like the rambly vlogs. A lot of you have been asking me to do like laundry videos. Not like about laundry, but just stand there while I'm folding laundry and like chat with you guys. Um, which I'm totally not opposed to because that's, that's a really easy video for me to film. But um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I would need... Okay, so if I were to do that, I would need some topics of conversation. Cause me standing there and blabbing to a black box, I can do that, but it'd be nice to have like a point of reference. So like maybe some questions? The sky looks like really gray. It's supposed to rain like craziness tomorrow, but it's been like super hot and humid and it just, it needs to rain because it's just so, oh geez. I hate, I hate walking in here and the light is on cause I always keep this like little light on. And it's so yellow. It's like gross. Oh, I feel like an Oompa Loompa. All right. Are you ready for the Doyle time? <gasps> Doyle! What's going on, buddy? Yep. So some of you have asked if Doyle sheds. And um, let me show you. Hold on. People have been asking questions about your fluffs, Doyle. All right. So Doyle tends to... Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. All right, hold on. we're gonna go around. We have to go around because Doyle just wants to get pet. All right, so Doyle tends to shed like right around his little butt area, right over here and his legs and like the top of his tail and all of that. He doesn't like it 
when I pick his fluffs. Doyle, nobody needs to see that, okay? Just no, nobody needs to see that. So, here, let's turn another light on. There we go. All right. So you see all of this stuff? Yeah. That's all the fluffs. All the fluffs. He's got an undercoat. And, um, yeah, so uh, I'll just uh, pick a fluff and show you guys. That's what happens. That's what happens. Yep. And that was just one little tuft of fluffs. So, yep, that's what happens. <laughs> Doyle doesn't like it. <laughs> See, what's funny is, yep, there's some fluffs. Uh, what's really funny is Doyle actually used to really like grooming and then now he doesn't like it at all. So I don't know, but I need to take him into the groomer because it's been just so incredibly hot and I can brush them all I want to, but the groomer does a better job than I do because they do like the de-shedding shampoo and brushes and stuff and I just, I can't get it all. And he's gonna shed anyway regardless, but I mean, this is, this is what it's like to own a Shiba right here. Kinda gross, you guys, kinda gross. Hey bud. So that is what it's like to own a Shiba Inu. Whoa, hello. Ugh, yuck. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. yuck. Oh, wow. Whoa. Hello. That's creepy. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm gonna call it quits for today. I, I feel like I don't like vlog that much. Um, but then I like edit the footage and it's like, freaking 30 minutes long. I'm like, how did I ramble on for 30 flipping minutes, you know? I think because I'm kind of just like updating you on what's happening and showing you things and, and then of course, Doyle challenge. Of course, everyone needs a good Doyle challenge in their life. But yeah, so I'm gonna get this footage at least in my computer. I'm gonna possibly try to edit this. It's only like 7.45, but to be honest, I'd rather at least start the editing process tonight and then um, either upload overnight or just upload when I get home, you know? So either either way is fine. But I am gonna jet. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow for more Vlulai. And if you guys have any questions for Friday, which will be the video that I'll upload on Saturday, I can do like a laundry talk video. Just submit questions down below, like right down there. Just submit laundry talk questions and I will do a laundry talk on Friday if I get enough questions. Um, they can be anything you want them to be. I might not answer every single question because of, you know, personal issues or I might not see all the questions, but um, feel free to put them below. Why not? I already did a Q&A, I think, this month? Yeah, I already did a Q&A this month and answered a lot of questions, but I need like a topic of conversation or else it's just gonna be me rambling. Like this vlog is like just me rambling. So drop some questions in the comments and I will try to answer as many of those as I possibly can on Friday, which will be my laundry day. So anyway, I'm gonna jet. Thank you guys for hanging out and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.